What's up, this is Nikita and we're here with Be In It. We're at the Trinidad and Tobago Canoe Kayak Center and we so happen to have the President and Secretary of the Federation and we're gonna do an interview with them, so stay tuned. And if you call her than an Eskimo, we will warm up your body to the best, you know. Keep me coming, love. Here we go again. I got your body warm and then the Caribbean. And if you ever feel like I don't love you, then. On you. Welcome right. back to We In It. We're here with the secretary and president. The secretary, Margaret Wong Chong and Meryl Sitai. Okay, could you all tell us a little bit of what exactly takes place at the Trinidad and Tobago Canoe Kayak Center? Well, okay. <laughs> this is the kayak center right. um, in Chagaramas. Um, we, it's a center that you could come and rent kayaks to go out, you know, recreational. We house the boats that belong to the, the Federation. Okay. In fact, those boats are the two speed you see in the background there. They, they're, they're very long, narrow boats. Open ocean racers. Pardon? Open ocean racing boats. Racing okay. boats. Let me, maybe it's best if I just describe quickly and briefly what the Federation is about. Um, well, right now we just have three member clubs. We have the kayak club. Trinidad Kayak Club, that is, for recreational paddlers. Right. We have the Trinidad Surf Ski Club, which are for the competitors, those who want to do the ocean racing. Okay. And our third member club is the Six Trinidad Sea Scouts. Okay. Um, today we had, to this weekend, we were doing an introductory um, training session for beginners. Those people who, you know, they see everybody in the water and they want to get into kayaking. And so we're promoting the kayaking for people to join our kayak club, the Trinidad Kayak Club okay. for the recreation. And how long have you all been running here? Well, the well, kayak center's kayak been around for been years. Since '92. Okay. Yeah. 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 But um, the, the federation, federation is is more recent. Okay. Um, was set up with with some assistance from the International Canoe Federation and Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee also. Um, assisted in the early days and we are here to develop this sport of kayaking at all levels but um, with an emphasis on uh, competition like Olympic competition and so on um, like some of the some of the boats are actually um, donations from the International Canoe Federation and those are the types of boats that they use at the Olympics and uh, CAC Games, where we took two athletes um, year before last, and then last year we took one one paddler to the Pan Am Games. Okay, wow. Um, yeah, big steps for us. Big steps. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was describing the recreational club. Meryl just described the surf ski club where the competition, but we try to identify talent to go now in yet a different type, a more competitive. So how many different types of kayaks do you all have here? <laughs> the recreational, the, the ones that you can see on sit that on tops, side. Which are very on easy to use. A be yeah, a beginner Any beginner can just, can just come in and, mm -hmm. and, and paddle. Okay, because I was just about to ask if kayaking takes a great amount of skill. Not if for the beginners. Okay. But yeah. at the upper levels, yes. Yeah, a um, lot of skill it, it for balancing in a boat like that you can see it's narrow yeah right so you can't just